Alright. Alright. All right. This is Umbeer Beat. Um, I'm doing a Let's Play of Mega Man X. And I know a lot of people have been doing this already, um, but I suppose it's my turn to do it myself. Um, I have an accomplice with me. His name is Carrick. Hello, everybody. <laughs> As you can tell by his um, sultry voice, he is very... Uh, <laughs> you can just say sexy. Just sexy. say it. You can just say it. Alright, he has a sexy yeah. voice. <laughs> Thank you. I know I'm gonna get like at least twice the subscribers now because of this. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, ladies. <laughs> Watch us play a game of Mega Man X. Alright, so let's get to it. Alright. <clears throat> um, so I don't think... We are we doing like a hundred percent run or a speed run or a normal run mm. or are we just gonna kind of? I wanna kind of. I wanna at least get all the hard tanks and maybe such sure. tanks and maybe all the armor and perhaps a Hadouken. No, we can skip the Hadouken. Okay. That's, that's a bit much. <laughs> all right. Well, then this is our. 99.9% .9 completion run of Mega Man X. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> um, I hope the controls aren't a bit too delayed. It should be okay. Yeah, it's been a while since I played this on the GameCube. Awesome. Alright, so we're pretty adequate at it. <laughs> yeah, I need a leg booster. Mm. It's not until I think the uh, Mega Man X2 do you start with the light yeah. booster. <clears throat> so, thoughts on uh, Mega Man X? Like, um, when was your first experience of playing Mega Man X? Um, like Mega Man X the series, or like this game? This 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 particular game. This yeah. particular game, I didn't get around to until. Probably about two, three years ago. Wow. Um, <laughs> I uh, actually never had it on Super Nintendo. Um, I didn't even have any friends that had a Super Nintendo. I was I was a lonely child. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, well, no, actually, that's a lie. I I did actually play it. I had a friend who was really good with computers, uh, and when we were still in elementary school, he was, like, emulating stuff. Mm. And I remember he had, like, all the Sonic games for Genesis on his computer, and I just thought that was the most amazing thing in the world. And, uh, yeah, I did play a bit of Mega Man X on PC emulators back in, like, I don't know, 97 or 98 it must have been. So um. I'm still in I think uh, even back in the day, they actually released a PC version of Mega Man X. Did they really? Yeah, I'm pretty sure because um, one of my friends from elementary school, he was playing it on his PC, and it was like store bought. He he doesn't do the whole emulation kind of thing, so he. No way. Yeah. Well, that's I did not know that. Well, no, then yeah. then maybe my friend was wasn't as much of a criminal as I thought he was. A oh, right it, right it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Runnings for chumps. There we go. There you go. Um, um, how should I say? Uh, when I first played Mega Man, it was way back when I was, like, an adolescent. It was actually, um, I was going on a family trip <coughs> to Santa, Santa Barbara. In the U.S. of A, and I, I went to a nearby mall, and they had like a, a sale going on. They were just getting rid of old video games. Oh yeah, and I, uh, I can win this. I can. I know I can. I can do it. I can win. I can win. I um. So and and they then like their bargain bin. I saw like Mega Man X, and I was like, oh. I heard this game is really popular. You Mega know, Man so. 10? No way! <laughs> <laughs> exactly, that was my first thought. I was like, Mega Man 10? There's, <laughs> there's 10 in the series? <laughs> so I, I wanted to get it, and it was like, what? Like 7 bucks, and uh. Oh my god. 
I, uh, I have to admit that was like my one of my yes. first Super Nintendo games. There he is, Mega Man Zero. Mega Man Zero. I actually initially thought that Mega Man was a girl because of his long hair. <laughs> I mean, didn't everyone when they first played Mega Man X? I mean, you know, I... I, I kind of thought it was a girl when I heard his voice acting in the PlayStation games. Oh yeah, definitely. Not reach full power yet. <laughs> you may even become as powerful as I am. Thanks. What a diss. <laughs> you may be as awesome as Zero sometimes. Actually, side note, did you see... Um, I can't save. What am I going to do? Uh, um, uh, Pill Chenguin. Oh yeah, everyone chooses this one first. <laughs> they have to, they must. <laughs> uh, what was I going to say? Oh, um... As a side the, note. The D-Arts, Bandai's... Did you see the D-Arts Mega Man X figure at all? D-Arts, D-Arts, um... Uh, it's like the same company that makes all the Kamen Rider stuff. Oh, no, no, I, I didn't see that. Because uh, I think X just came out, like, or is coming out in a couple days, and then they just announced Zero. Really? Yeah, he looks beautiful. So he's all like, uh, this is body parts like all completely worn out kind of thing. Yeah, they're just everything. Because I mean, they make awesome figures, like tons of articulation and. Oh yeah. And uh, they're kind of capable of more, I guess, organic-looking poses than stuff like Rebel Tech, <laughs> um, which is a lot of robots looking like big robots. Yeah. Um, Pretty much. Oops. Uh, but yeah, Zero looks beautiful. And along with the news that Kotobukiya is coming out with a Mega Man Zero version Zero model kit. Huh. Um, and he looks, he looks very pretty. Just as all Zeros do. Wow, well, that... Hmm. Model kit from Zero. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not sure if uh, anyone probably knows this, but uh, yeah, I'm a big model kit fan. I like to build Gundams and everything like that, and you know, yeah. stuff like that. Um, as a general rule, of course, you have to go to Chill Penguin stage first to get the, uh, the leg upgrade. Oh, life is good. Look at that. Oh, so you double tap to to dodge. Yeah, I'm usually a double tap guy. What are you doing? Oh, you just, just let me do my thing, yo. There you go. Stupid peacocks. What are peacocks doing in an ice level? <laughs> well, they're robots. <laughs> right. They can be anywhere they want. They're robot peacocks. <laughs> right. Punch some stuff. Oh, come on. Don't, don't, don't take the long way out. Come on. Okay. Let's not punch some stuff there. There you go. That way I don't have to fight the other shit along. That's true, yeah. Go, go, get it, speed boots. Come on. No, I always, uh... Thought those snowball throwing robots were making uh, large snowballs, but you never see them do it. <laughs> it always happens off screen. <laughs> They're sneaky like that. Mm -hmm. Alright. Here comes the penguin. <laughs> oh, so if you actually like power up your shots are doing more damage. The bosses. Oh, yeah, I guess yeah. they do. You see, if you double tap... I know, I forgot about that. You can't, uh, jump off the wall. I totally forgot about that. Mm -hmm. Um... Gee, I should... What's the other... Is... I, I think it's either Y or X on a Game Gear controller. Oh my, how are you supposed to do that? That doesn't even make sense! <laughs> or, or R or something? I don't know. I think it's Y or X or something like that. 
We may have to go into controls and just that, I think that's... Come on, boy. Oh, <laughs> um, I'm almost there. Almost there, there you go. go. Mid-air. Yes. It's beautiful. Wait for it. Yeah. You oh. get shotgun ice. So beautiful. That should be a drink. Hmm? That should be the name of a drink. Shotgun ice. Shotgun ice. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm I'm gonna set up like a Mega Man themed drink menu. That would be cool. Pass it. Pass it, man. It's my turn. Alright. Hog the control button. I wouldn't agree with it. Launch octopus! Oh, that's not the order. Oh, I guess. Oh, what about um Can't you go to um fiery Ganesh? Dude, no. And isn't his? Won't his level be all frozen now, though? I guess. Now that we've done Hilly, Hilly Chingle. Yeah, but with Spark Mandrels, we to shock eyes. Yeah, but this way, all the electric stuff is still on. That's fine. I I, I just have to do it this way first, man. Okay, but this is the way I'm used to it. So. <laughs> I never thought something like our Mega Man X play styles would tear us apart. <laughs> Don't worry. But I see now that you're a different person. Hey! <laughs> oh, and you... That's interesting. You don't always charge like I do. Nope. I always have the button held down. I know. I know I'm strange. I know everyone else like... Whoa! Ooh. I know that everyone else who plays Mega Man always helps always the charge button down. <laughs> I know I'm strange like that. That's interesting. I mean, it's totally wrong, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, my way is a lot more, uh, less strain on the thumbs. I mean, of course, doing that is more strain on the wrist, of course. <laughs> but, uh, I like it this way better. Yeah, that's cool. That's... I guess that's kind of how Mega Man would really go about doing it. He wouldn't run around with his blaster charged all the time. Of course not. So you're more you're you're true to the source material. That's right. Your playthroughs are canon. <laughs> <laughs> playthroughs are canon. <laughs> uh oh! Oh, run! I'm gonna do that. You're gonna die. You're dead. You're just dying. You're gonna die. I'm not gonna die. Trust me on this. You're dead. Cut. You're dead. You're deaded. Oh, you jinxed it. That's why, mm -mm. Mr. Carrick, sir. If I said you had it in the bag, then then that would mean that you would have died. <sighs> I was giving you positive reinforcement. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Reverse psychology. Absolutely. Right? So, um, another question for you, Carrick. Yes. Yes. Um. How do you, uh, like, I guess, well, like you said before, you only recently, uh, played Mega Man X. So, um, I don't know. How do you think about the bosses in general, for, like, a, as, like, the, the bosses design and stuff like that? Um... Do you think they're, you know, intuitive? Do you think they're, like, uh, uh unique? I think some of them are a little messy. Uh, like, especially when you kind of get into the later ones, I feel like... Actually, even some of these early ones, like... I feel like a lot of the bosses just kind of had too many colors. And I mean, I know that was sort of... Like, because at the time, they were like, Oh my god, we've got... We've got all of these graphics <laughs> to work with. <laughs> what are we gonna do with all of these graphics? And it was like, I know, make everything as colorful and neon and early 90s as we possibly can. Um, don't even do this. Don't, don't jinx me. Oh. 
I believe in you. Oh. Yes. See, the parent shells don't, don't do nothing. They do tons. You don't even know. You go! I think I think the chat chats do more than you think. Look out! He's gonna get his goo on you. <laughs> um, but yeah, like this guy. Like there you go. Oh, there you go. Like he's red and purple. Like I'm no fashionista, but that is a faux pas. <laughs> faux pas. Like, you just don't wear red and purple together, unless you're like a red hat lady. I like this guy. So yeah, fine. he just doesn't know what the hell he's doing. Nice. Oh, not nice. Oh, Damn in the it. back of the head. I'm so terrible. <laughs> no, it's okay. Ugh, I, haven't, I, haven't, I haven't played this game in ages. So anyways, uh, yeah, you were saying about the bosses, um... Yeah. Like, like, what do you mean, like, the later games, like, the bosses are, like, what, too colorful? Well, some of them got a little too convoluted, too. Like, there's something to be said for the classic, like, Robot Masters designs, where even even when you get later on, um, not even into, like, the, the retro revivals, like 9 and 10, where they're obviously very simple, but even in stuff like um, Mega Man and Bass, for example, like... Oh, that was very colorful. I mean, yeah, it was super colorful, but it wasn't like... It wasn't colorful for the sake of being colorful. And the boss designs themselves, they were still fairly simple. Even though this was, you know, later later on in classic Mega Man's life. Yeah! Yeah! Speaking of... Um, like, they still retained that... I guess I just mean that there's something to be said for simplicity, mm -hmm. and I know that, you know, it was new technology, having the Super Nintendo, and they wanted to show off that this was Mega Man X, <laughs> and this isn't your daddy's Mega Man, but I think, yeah, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of them, and a lot of them, honestly, I find very forgettable. I mean, I guess I've probably played the classic Megamans more than uh, his ex counterpart. Um, I've, I've played them more often, but like, I I can't remember any of the bosses from X three. Really? Like, I I can't. Actually, now that you mention it, I can't. Really <laughs> <laughs> and and then I think uh, Wheel Gator. No, he was in two. Yeah, he was in two. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then I don't know. Like, look at this monkey. This monkey is yellow, brown, blue, and then he's got, like, green lights on him. Like... <laughs> he looks like he should be on, like, a billboard in, like, the red light district of, <laughs> of a futuristic robot. Well, I guess it's, it's a futuristic robot world, so... Maybe... But, but you should be on the red light district of this world. <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> like, he's just shiny and neon and obnoxious, and... Yeah, I just feel like... Like, if you walked by these guys at night, they would be indistinguishable from, like, an adult store. <laughs> I suppose, yeah. And I and I know something about that because I live on Davy. So, <laughs> um, they're gonna do it in the order of weaknesses, or he's weak against electric, right? No, armored armadillo. Armored armadillo is yeah. Oh, do it. Okay, wait. Well, what do we have? What's we have shot gun ice and we have uh, this, spark the mandrels yeah. stuff. Um, Don't you remember the spark? Guess where the wrong with those uh, armor? Oh yeah, okay. Right. Uh, uh, Elephant Man is weak against Storm Eagle. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Let's do armored Almadero. Ahimadero. <laughs> <laughs>
His, his hands look like his right hand looks disconnected. Or, the, or, or the, like, just for as a side note, this is like Carrick's favorite music ever. Yeah. In everything, in time, like this is. What are you doing, man? You know, you know what's what. <laughs> I got this. <laughs> Yeah, I could fall in love with this music. Oh, uh, what's behind this guy? There's something behind this guy. Yeah! yeah. Tiny. One of them. That might come in handy. Certainly. Do a little bit too. Yeah, do that bit. It's where they just follow you, they don't like shoot that a little bit. Yeah. And they do pellets. Oh, that oh, one's one good, yeah. Fine, whatever. Oh dear, this, this brings back so many memories I uh, already putting on my nostalgia goggles for this, just for this <laughs> game. This game was like, used to be all I played when I was like, what, 10 years old or whatever. Yeah. Me and my friends would actually like map out and make our own Mega Man stages. <laughs> Uh, I think I told Carrick before, but not the audience, that I uh, actually made a boss character called Card Shark. And he was supposed <laughs> to be a. Uh... Now, how do we go about this? I want to fall to the right. Go right? to the right, yep. Yeah, fall to the right. Come on. What? You couldn't come behind though. No, I want to do this. Oh, uh, that's what I want. Oh, run! Oh God! And uh, there's this like a uh, boss character called Polish Card Shark. He's obviously gonna be a shark, and he was gonna use playing cards as his weapon. But uh, Capcom just had to go and steal my ideas, and they already made a character that uses cards as a weapon. And there's also a shark. There's a shark. Yeah, there's a shark boss character. In X? Not X. Oh. There's uh, Sharkman EXE in Battle Network. He was yeah. pretty sweet. Is that who we're talking about, or...? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Take that. Take that right in your face. But, Woo! Uh, I'm sure that a lot of people would know the oh. feeling of getting their ideas stolen. Uh, Capcom, why did you have to do this? Oh, and by the way, it's the X-Bot one. Oh, okay. Oh, what? Oh, 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 double dicks! That's just... <laughs> Don't worry, I got one more try. I've never actually fought him using this weapon before. Really? I've only... Honestly, I've only ever done a buster-only run of this game. Really? I don't think I've ever used... Well, no. Because I, I remember using um, Storm Eagle's stuff on Fire Fant. For fire Elephant. Mammal. He's a mammal. Flamey for elephant for number. Watch out, oh, my. Just fall on it. Oh my god! <laughs> jerk! Oh, come on, I can do this. Oh, baby. <laughs> oh, what is this? What is this? This is this! Come on. This is awful. You can do it. Oh! Well, you see, how I can normally do this with just a bust. I would rock. I will show you how I would do this. Oh, what? Lies. 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 All right, show me how you do this with the buster. Just, just use the buster now. Okay. Don't use the, the spark man weapon. You see, I can never do this game with just a buster. I'd have no. to use the boss weaknesses. If if I was feeling like really feisty, I probably would. Yeah, but today is not the day because I I haven't played the game through uh, five times already to just get used to it. Yeah. So, uh, um, would we want to edit this out? If, or no, it's fine. That's fine. Leave it in. Yeah, sure. Or I leave everything in, just like with my soft playthroughs. I okay, can I get that off. thing? Do yeah, I still you, have it? you still have it. Okay. You know, like in my solace plays, I record my uh, yeah. And as everybody who's been keeping up, I've died a lot of my care. Oh dear. 
Die! I'm gonna beat him to it. <laughs> See, I never got, got the point of double falling. Um, I... It's weird. I... I love it in this game, and I love it in the Super Nintendo X games, but when it comes to the Zero games on GBA, I always set it to, like, a shoulder button. Yeah. I mean, the only thing that I could probably find that's actually better with double tapping is that you can, uh, that was close, Jeez. is that you can actually uh, keep the charge button held down a lot easier. Yeah. That was close. Yeah, well, I, yeah, I definitely usually set, um, a dash button to a shoulder button. Yeah. And then, I think I usually just switch weapons from the menu. <clears throat> I've never been a fan of trying to switch weapons on the fly, and it's not... Oh, yeah? Fly enough. No, Carrick, show me, show me what you're made of. Alright! Use your buster to This is, this is how I do, this is what I do. Alright. I don't even know, because I know he, like, defends a lot, but I just shoot him until he dies, basically. <laughs> <laughs> like, that is my strategy. Yeah, but of course you can do that. I don't, I don't care about that, because then he stops eventually, and then I shoot him again. <laughs> you know? But it takes so much longer, look at this. No way. You don't even... Okay. Look, 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 look. And then, of course, he, like... Oh, like, what? Mm, mm, I hate you. Mm. Okay. You're dead. You're dead. Like, this isn't bad. This is not taking that long. You're just gonna miss. No, it, it doesn't take that long, but it takes longer than that. Because he uses me. Yeah, I guess so. I just... I guess I've just never done that. Look at this. And even charging up the, the buster doesn't even take... That much more damage away from it. No, it doesn't. Yeah, I guess you're right. This does take a long time. <laughs> Here, oh, just... you fight him then, because I'm no good using boss weakness. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm not good at using their weakness. Alright. I'll show you how a real professional does this. You're not going to play it for a long time. A real pro would do a buster only run. 